What does it mean to be kinky? Is a kink the same as a fetish? What exactly are kinky boots? Does it mean I'm kinky if I want more than missionary position sex in the dark? What will my partner think if they know how kinky I really am? My name is Dr. Rhoda Lipscomb, and I'm a positive sexuality specialist and certified sex therapist. I specialize in alternative means of sexual expression. I help people like you overcome your fears of exploring a new alternative sexuality. Do you have a kink or a fetish? Let's talk about the differences. While there is a lot of crossover in both areas, there are also some very distinct differences. In this video, I'll talk about kinks. A clear definition of a kink is difficult because kinky has been used by those who really practice BDSM or fetishes, and kinky often gets tossed around very loosely. I tend to see a kink as those things that are very unique sexually and don't necessarily fall into the other categories. Good examples of kink could be those who enjoy age play, where a person role plays being usually a much younger age than their chronological age. Pet or pony play, where a person role plays being a puppy or a kitty or a pony. Golden showers, which is the kink of either peeing on your partner or having them pee on you. Or sexual scenarios that can be very specific, such as preferring partners who are amputees, very obese, bisexual, smokers, or some other unique trait. Most of the time, kinks can be a fun and harmless addition to your sex play and excitement. Go ahead and have fun. Embrace the kink. However, if you feel ashamed or embarrassed about your kinks, if you're afraid to admit your kinks to your sexual partner because you fear their rejection, then it's time to get some professional help. This is where I come in. I can first help you better understand your kink and lessen your shame and embarrassment. So either you can talk to your partner about your desires, or we can bring your partner in for some couple sessions so they can better understand your kinks, what it means, and how to incorporate your kinks into your sexual life. I have worked with many people who have various types of kinks and have extensive academic and clinical training in this very unique area of human sexuality. Most of the time, kinks are a harmless quirk, and what's needed most is education and shame reduction. But there are times when kinks can become problematic, especially if they are done in a non-consensual manner, so it is important to know the difference. I offer a free 30-minute consultation, either on the phone or in person, to help you see if we are a good fit for each other. Please call or email and set up a time to talk. I am Dr. Rhoda, and I will help you through the process of acceptance and learning to love your unique kinks.